When it comes to character rigging and animation in After Effects, the very first thing that comes to your mind is Twig Angela. But even though Twig is so much popular option for character rigging in After Effects, there is another character rigging tool that is getting so much limelight these days. And I'm talking about the Rubberhose 3. And in this video, I will do a little comparison between Twig Angela and Rubberhose 3. On one side, we have Twig Angela, which is a free plugin. You can download it from their official website. On the other hand, we have Rubberhose 3, which is a paid plugin available for around $77 on the BattleX official website. I will go through different scenarios in each round where I will be using both the tools and based on which tool is in a more advantageous position will get a point. And let's see by the end of this video which side wins. And then we will come to a final conclusion. So that being said, without any further delay, let the battle begin. Round 1 is about rigging vector geometric claims. So let's start with rubber hose 3. Let's create a new rubber hose. And let's change the direction and decrease the hose length and increase the stroke width to match the original illustration. And let's parent the hand with the hose. And in rubber hose, you get multiple customization options for your rig. You can change the length, slide or move the bend point, change the roundness, you can make pointed elbow or rounded elbow, or even change the direction. Not only that, you can add multiple bends to a hose. And you can get further customization options for each of the bends. Now let's check out Dwig Angelo. So let's create a humanoid arm structure layer and let's reposition the structure layers. And let's parent the artwork with its structure layers. Let's select the structure layers and click on auto rig. And now you have the rig with pointed joints. You can even change the direction of the rig by giving the slide value to minus 100%. And now we're going to rig the same limp with rounded joint. For that, we're going to add some puppet pins and convert the puppet pins into puppet layers and then add hand structure layers and reposition the structure layers. Then let's parent the puppet pin layers with its structure layers and auto rig. Now you have your rig with rounded elbow, but the problem of rigging with puppet pins is that it distorts the limp in a weird way. And you don't want this type of weird distortion effect in your actual animation. Well, most of you might not be aware of it, but there is actually another way to rig rounded rubber hose style joints using Twig Angela while avoiding this weird distortion from puppet pins. So let's create a stroke shape layer with pen tool and let's select the shape path property and then go to Twig Bezel and click on add pins. And it has created pin layers at the position of the vector points. And now you can easily rig it with Dwig structures in the similar manner. But still it is nowhere near rubber hose 3 in terms of flexibility where you get multiple customization options for your rig. And not to forget the fact that the number of layers in rubber hose 3 is significantly lower than Twig Angela. This makes rubber hose 3 a clear winner in this round. In round 2, we will rig complex limp artworks. First, let's rig this hand artwork with rubber hose 3. So we're going to select each of the parts of the hand and move the anchor point at the position of overlap. And then parent hand with forearm and forearm with arm. And then select the last layer of the parent chain, in this case it's hand. And then click on new rubber rig. And now your hand is rigged with just few clicks. And not only that, all the other properties of a rubber hose limp is also available here. But only the roundness property doesn't work here but you can adjust the length, slide the bending point or even change the direction. And now if I rig the same artwork with Twig Angela then I have to again rig it with the help of the Twig structure layers, reposition the structure layers, parent the layers and then auto rig. And this involves a lot of extra steps compared to what we did here in rubber hose 3. And also with tweak, you cannot change the length of the rig or even slide the bending point. But you do get an option to change the direction. But I still think in rubber hose, the option you get of changing the direction is better than here in tweak because it actually distorts the layer to minimize that dislocation of the joints. And rubber hose 3 is again a winner in this round. In round 3, we will rig the whole body of a character. So first I have rigged this character with Rubberhose 3 with the rubber rig feature. 
and then patented the start controller of the hands and the legs with the main body layer to connect the whole limb system with the main body. And then I rigged the same character with Twig Angela with the hands and the legs structure layers. Then parented the thigh and the arm structure layers with the main body to link the whole leg system. One important feature you get while using Twig for character rigging is you get this foot bend controller to bend the foot at is. And also footband is a very important part of character animation. It makes the overall character movement more natural and more realistic. But rubber hose doesn't have anything to offer for adding footbands like this. And also while using rubber hose tree, there is no way you can add flexibility to the body layer of your character unless you have separate layers for the torso. But that is not possible for all the art styles. But while using Twig, you have multiple ways to do that. One way is using the humanoid structures in Twig, but using this method, you may get lost in the ocean of layers. So there is an alternative to this, and that is using the puppet pins. So add some puppet pins and convert the pins into pin layers with Twig Angela. And rename the layers. It is not necessary, but it is going to help you stay organized. And then parent the pin layers in a chain in this direction. And here you have it. Even though Twig has a clear advantage over here, but this doesn't stop you from using both the plugins at the same time. For example, this character is rigged using both the plugins. So the arms are rigged with rubber hose 3, which gives me the advantage of changing the length, then sliding the bend point, even changing the direction at ease, and also some other options I get with rubber hose 3, such as auto flip. Then I rigged the leg with the rubber rig feature of rubber hose 3. And for the foot, I have used a foot placeholder layer. I used this layer just because while you are using rubber rig feature, it requires at least three layers in the parenting chain. And then I have added some puppet pins on the foot layer. One for the foot, one at toe, one at toe tip and one at heel and then converted the puppet pins into pin layers using the add pin layer feature in Twig Angela. After that, I have added the leg structure layers from Twig Angela in the same position as the leg illustration layers. And then I parented the toe puppet pin layer with the leg tip structure layer and the toe tip puppet pin layer with the toe layer and the foot puppet pin layer with the foot structure layer. But remember, I haven't parented the thigh and the other leg layers with the structure layer because it's already rigged with rubber hose 3. And once it was done, I have rigged the Twig structure layers with the auto rig feature from Twig Angela. And finally, parented the end controller of the rubber hose rig with the Twig leg controller which gives me the control for this whole rig. And using both the plugins to rig this leg give me few advantages. One is that I get control of the settings from the rubber hose 3, such as changing the length, sliding the bend point, changing the direction, or even using the auto flip feature from rubber hose 3. And the advantage of using Tweak Angela's auto rig feature is that I got the control for the foot roll. And then for the body layer, I have again added some puppet pins and used the add pin layers feature from Twig Angela to add some flexibility in the body layer. But this round goes to Twig Angela. Round 4 is about working with puppet pins. In the current version of Rubber Hose 3, there is no rubber pin. So there is no direct way to work with puppet pins using Rubber Hose 3, which gives Twig Angela a clear advantage over here with its puppet layers or bone layers. And it can be used in multiple ways to add more secondary animation and follow through to your animation to make your animation more dynamic. So this round clearly goes to Twig Angela again. Round 5 is about flipping joint direction. If you only use Twig for your character animation, then the only thing that you are always concerned about this weird joint popping effect when you try to change the direction or stretch your rig after a certain threshold. And the only way to get rid of it is just to go frame by frame and adjust the position property, motion graph and motion paths. And it gets frustrating sometimes. But with Rubber Hose 3, you have a good alternative to this. And that is the auto flip. And you also have this direction changing controller in Rubber Hose 3. And the winner of this round is Rubber Hose 3. Round 6 is about IK and FK rigging. In Rubber Hose 3, you only get the option to rig in IK, but no option for FK rigging. 
But in Dwig, you get the option to switch between IK and FK. And it has more options like FK overlap, which adds nice follow through to your hand animation, which is very useful when you are animating a walk cycle. So the winner of this round is Dwig Angela. Round 7 is about face rigging. Face rigging is also an important part of character rigging and animation, but yet it is missing from most of the character rigging tools. And here Dwig Angela is in a clear advantage over Rubberhose with its Dwig connectors. With Dwig's 1D slider, 2D slider and angle controller, you can pretty much rig any kind of face from simple to highly detailed artworks. But Rubberhose 3 doesn't have anything to offer for face rigging. And if you want to learn how to use Twig connectors to rig the face of your character, then I have a detailed tutorial on it. You can check it out from the link in the description or you can click on the i button on your top right corner to check out the detailed tutorial. And the winner of this round is Twig Angela. Now it's time for the final conclusion. After a tight battle, Twig Angela won the fight by 4-3. Now the question is, am I asking you to completely scrap rubber hose free and only use Twig? No, definitely not. As I mentioned earlier, you can use both the plugins together to get a better result. In my case, I use rubber hose free for rigging hands and legs, but in case I need a FK rig, then I again switch back to Twig Angela. But for face rigging, foots, and for adding flexibility to the body, I use Twig Angela. And I would also recommend you to explore all the different tools. And if you think this particular feature is going to help you make better animations, then use that feature. But that doesn't mean you have to completely change your workflow and switch to that plugin. And it is valid for all the other character rigging tools that are available, for example, Limber, Character Tool, or Puppet Tool. Alright, so that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked the video, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down below. I'll be happy to help you out. And if you're here for the first time, then make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then, goodbye.